Welcome back to the next episode of Math for Bronze. Today we're going to be talking about circles, angles, and degrees. Let's go ahead and start. What is the degree measure of this angle? All right, guys, so how are we going to solve this problem? How do we find that angle right there? Well, the first thing you want to do is find the angle of the whole clock. Well, what is that? Well, since it spans 360 degrees, it's a full circle. 360 degrees is the whole clock's angle. And so now we can use that to find the degree measure of each angle divided by 12 since there's 12 hours. And so 360 divided by 12 is going to give us the amount of degrees per hour. So each hour, let's break that up. Break up 10 to 12 into two angles, 10 to 11 and 11 to 12. Okay, so if I go ahead and write 11 to 12, we can say 10 to 11 takes 30 degrees and 11 to 12 takes 30 degrees. And so you multiply 360 over 12 by 2, that's going to give you your final angle measure of 60 degrees for the smaller angle between 10 and 12 o'clock. Thanks for watching this episode of Math for Bronze. We'll check you out next time. So I'll divide by Ian plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. Excuse me. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.